I have a message for you. I'm chewing gum for dramatic effect. I'm like you, all right? There has been a time in my life where I said, hey, you know what? I don't need a good browser. I'm good with me. You know what, Google Chrome? You, you're the best. And then I woke up and I realized that Google Chrome was dog water. That's right, dog water. Now, I have the best browser you should use. I did switch to it recently, but first I have to chronicle my story. My story was going from Google Chrome to then a secondary app that I saw that I thought, ooh, fancy, very nice, and that was Brave. Now, those of you that don't know what Brave is, it's a free and open source browser by the company Brave, and it's based on Chromium. Chromium is the default backend for the majority of browsers that you've seen. I mean, Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Chromium, one of the few ones that does not use Chromium as a backend is Firefox. The majority of apps that you use are built off of Chromium. If you're using the browser that you're using on a daily basis. And I thought for a while, you know what? Chrome, bad. Brave, good. I had a friend tell me about this. I was like, all right, I believe you. I'll use it, I'll use it. And you know what? A lot of the pros that you get with Brave are just bad. Let me explain. I use tools. I review software for a living. And oftentimes, third-party cooking, tracking being blocked by default, is a bad thing. Because apps sometimes need those things in order for them to work. I'm talking it with ads. <laughs> Whether it be at my day job or at, <laughs> at Rice Productive. Ads, the platforms don't load. I'm talking things not being able to be embedded in software like Google Sheets. I, it, so while Chrome sucks because way too much RAM usage, extremely bloated, just doesn't do anything right. And people aren't aware of this and it's frustrating. There is an alternative that isn't Brave. It isn't any of the other, you know, like Firefox is okay. Safari, don't even, don't use Firefox, don't use Safari. There is a Chromium based software that nobody uses. And I don't know why. If you do any research whatsoever, you will find, drum roll please, come on, come on. Do a shake effect, come on, come on. Microsoft Edge is the best browser. I know, hey, don't cancel me, all right, don't. I'm sorry, I know it's it's hard to admit because most people go, oh God, Edge, when they initially log into their Windows computer. And I get it, I understand. But do you know what the problem is? You're living in the past. You're living in the past because prior, Internet Explorer was what you'd get by default on Windows apps, and that did in fact suck. It sucked so much that everyone ended up going to Chrome. And then Google was like, <laughs> we're winning, I'm not gonna try ever again. And then Microsoft eventually came back and was like, all right, you know what? We're gonna make a better browser. And then um, they'd already been too far behind in like customer sentiment for anyone to believe them. And then they just didn't market it hard. And even when they tried to market it hard at the beginning, they didn't do it long enough because eventually people would just laugh them off. But years later, after people have struggled with Chrome, they got a resurge. And I am a part of that resurgence. And now you might be saying, well, I got everything in Chrome. Like what, why, why would I switch? Well, first of all, it is very easy to switch. Right? Whether you're on Brave or on Chrome, all you need to do is go to the top right and create a profile. And then if I add this profile, and add the new account. Even on the back end, if you go into settings, if you wanna import browser data, you can do this extremely easy. It goes through a whole prompt process, but in the back end of Microsoft Edge, it's based off of Chromium. So if I press choose what to import, I can pick from Safari. And then if I'm on a PC, I can pick from Chrome. And even if I can't do it in the normal, like, hey, just import what you have in Safari, you can get favorites or bookmarks from an HTML file it, or a CSV file for passwords. It takes a minute. I had to do this with Brave. And for Chrome, I just wanna let you know that while I don't have it on this account, it is very similar to what you can do here. All you gotta do is go to settings on whatever platform it is, go to wherever you have bookmarks, and then find whatever three dots or six dots system there is. Press export bookmarks. This will export as an HTML. And then you just import browser data from that HTML file you choose the file and then everything transferred over to me in like 10 seconds. And same with passwords. All you gotta do is import the CSV. Whatever browser you're in is gonna have that same situation. You just go to the uh, passwords section, you 
export the passwords. Can I export it as a CSV? And then all, all I gotta do is import it in that same little thingy. It's very easy to do. The friction's very low. And truthfully, name me another tool that has all these different things. Bing AI is implemented into the day. Tire black. What is the best way, best web browser? Let's see what it says. Microsoft Edge apparently is the best for Windows. Opera. Safari is the best for Mac. I don't want to even get into that. But the fact that you can have this, you can have composition, like write me an email to my boss for why we should standardize using Microsoft Edge. Let's make it funny. Press generate draft and bada bing, bada boom. You don't even have to I've made videos on this. It has a solid mobile app. I'm gonna start bashing this guy. I just, it even told me how it wouldn't be funny to say what I'm asking for, so I have to make it professional. Basically said you were being too funny about an email asking to standardize using Microsoft Edge, which is completely fair. There's nothing funny about it. And last but not least, in an article like, after having written this kind of email, you could, you could go to this insights tab and you'll notice very quickly, this is the only web browser I'm aware of where you can, it is integrated so much with ChatGPT and Bing AI that it gives you the key points of the article by going there. And it's faster than Chrome and it uses less RAM than Chrome. And it's basically Chrome, but better. Let's not live in 2015, ladies and gentlemen. Chrome is here and Chrome is here to stay. Let's get it and let's get more content for me by checking out this video on how to improve your productivity even more.